like what all what I have told you is about um, like protein structures or even DNA RNA structures. However, they only represent um, part of the biologicals, biological molecules. There are still many, many different types of biological molecules that play important roles, such as lipids and sugar. We only have very limited understanding of them. It is almost impossible to solve stru their structures. Why? Because they are flexible. And more importantly, we even don't know what we are looking for. That's why I borrowed the concept dark matter, meaning that they are molecules that are unknown to biologists. And my lab recently came up with a strategy which we named CrowdSeq. We actually got just several liters of water from the famous Qinghua Lotus pond and we concentrate the water and uh, well of course after very rough filtration and then we'll place that under microscope and we observe the many different stuff stuff and now that modern technology allows us to uh, obtain the high resolution reconstruction map and then we use AI to build in the models the uh, atomic model and then we learn that actually they belong to proteins that are from unknown species so we plan to apply this strategy to different realms, um, to study samples collected from raindrops, from snow, from deep water, to the deep sea, or even from um, the extreme conditions, um, from like from the space. So that's our hope.